And now to discuss one of the biggest nights in Glory history, I'm joined once again by Joseph Valtellini. Glory is headed to Guangzhou, China, the first ever card in China for Glory. UFC hasn't even been to China yet. What are your thoughts on that big historic night on October 14th? Well, you got to think China is such a huge martial arts country. So to have uh, a Glory kickboxing event there, um, there's a lot of people, a lot of passionate martial arts fans. And then, you know, I'm expecting a lot of these Chinese fighters to, you know, really make a big name for themselves in kickboxing. And, you know, that old school martial arts and that mentality they have from such a young age, Man, to see that in kickboxing is just going to be something new. The press conference we had in China has been viewed over 1.5 million times on YouTube. A lot of excitement around this card, including the main event, which we've already announced. And it's going to be Rico Verhoeven versus Bigfoot Silva, who's never fought kickboxing match before. Yeah, but it's Bigfoot Silva. You see that man, he's just this big structure and uh, you know, I think it's going to be one of those guys that Rico's going to look at and Rico's going to be maybe a little intimidated by that size, but um, I just think Rico's on a totally different level right now. Whoever we're throwing in front of him, he's just you know, finishing all of his fights and we're having a hard time getting him those hard fights, but Bigfoot's no one big. Want, no one wants to fight Rico, so props to Bigfoot for standing up to him. Yeah, he's a big guy, and you know, when you're that big, all it takes is one little touch, and the fight's totally changed. Also, Simon Marcus will be defending his uh, middleweight championship, be taking on Alex Pereira of Brazil, but also a couple of Chinese fighters that we're really excited about. They've already made their glory debut. We get to see them in action. Let's start with Chin Chin Lee. Well, Chin Chin Lee is just, a, he's so young, and when he came in, he just did an incredible job at being entertaining. He had a big knockout. Um, his dancing, on the other hand, we weren't <laughs> overly impressed with. Well, like, what I like to, what I said on the broadcast, he performed so well, he earned the right to dance that bad. Well, he did, and it was an incredible knockout, so to see him back in his hometown is going to be exciting. We have Ching Hao Meng, um, who also had a very successful debut in, in glory. So these Chinese fighters are, you know, winning, and they're doing well, and being back in China is just going to give them that extra motivation and uh, to keep training, to keep getting better in the kickboxing rules. It all happens on October 14th as glory, for the first time ever, hits China.